to get some analysis now from Umid Shams. He's an Iranian writer and law academic at the University of Portsmouth in the UK, and he joins us live from London. Thank you for being with us on the program today. Now, what do you make of the general attorney's announcement? Because it's caused a lot of confusion, given that the morality police hasn't officially been banned in the country. Well, uh, first and foremost, uh, what we can um, uh, understand from uh, general attorney's uh, statement is that uh, what was called morality police in Iran had nothing to do with the ju judiciary system. That's the only thing that we can uh, be sure of uh, in that statement. And it also tells us that uh, whatever this morality police is, it, ha it is not a judicial uh, mechanism. And also what we see in uh, his statement is that uh, uh, the judiciary separately will uh, supervise uh, the public appearance of women in Iran, and it will uh, implement uh, uh, the law uh, on uh, compulsory hijab. Uh, and we should know that morality police is just one of the countless versions of policing uh, women's appearance in Iran during the, the last four decades. Uh, it changed its name from uh, Sara Law patrols to Jondola patrols, and then to different type of titles, and all of them were brutally uh, suppressing women for their appearances uh, for decades. What is uh, important to understand is that uh, the compulsory hijab, which was enforced in uh, the early 80s uh, in Iran, is an intrinsic uh, foundation of the totalitarian regime in power mm -hmm. in Iran. So impossible for them to back off from that and what was what we were witnessing it was just a propaganda game that right. the, the government is desperately playing to just um just ease the protests right and we did hear from president Raisi say that there's space to review the laws does that give hope to iranians that these protests will finally lead to some real change well, there are various reasons for that. The, first of all, the, the fact-finding mission uh, just established by the UN Count, uh, Human Rights Council is one of the reasons that the uh, politicians in Iran trying to, to just uh, pretend that there will be changes just to avoid uh, uh, the, uh, the independent investigation into brutally suppressing people. As you, you just mentioned, 400 people were killed, 60 children were among them. Uh, Iran Wire uh, website just identified 49 children. It shows that at least 20 percent of them uh, were, were children. So uh, the government is trying everything just to say that they are trying to change. But what we've been witnessing uh, in the past decades shows that these laws will never change uh, to to better. It will just get get worse, and uh, it is just a, a temporary tactic to trying to avoid uh, pressure from inside and outside. Right. Well, the demonstrations were ignited by Masa Amini's death, but the hijab issue is definitely not the only reason why that protesters have been on the streets for almost three months now. Omid Shams, thank you so much for joining us uh, here on TRT World.